Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Ledette. I'm an associate professor of disease ecology and epidemiology. If we can learn more about the tick, that will help everyone prevent themselves from suffering from a tick-borne disease. So where do we get to the areas where it's really risky and, and your tick encounter likelihood goes up? A couple areas. The edges of your yard. If you have forested areas, areas where animals are traveling, that's where ticks are most likely to be and persist. Now it's not to say a tick can't be on a deer, walk through a parking lot, drop off, and live there on the asphalt for three days before it dries out. That can certainly happen. But if a tick is on a deer, drops off in a forest, it can live for weeks to months, if not a year. So those are where we need to think about the likelihood of an encounter and large population numbers. So edge of your yard where animals are. It's important to know that ticks don't move a lot in nature. They don't go horizontally. They don't have a lot of energy. They only have one or two blood meals. Limited resources, they can't go back and eat whenever they want. So they really conserve their energy. That's why ticks really stay within a very small vicinity of where they've dropped off on their last blood meal. Therefore, ticks have to hop on a host, a vehicle, like a mouse or a deer to get places. Where they drop off, they're constrained to survive there. So the prime locations they drop off where they will survive longer are the areas where you're most likely to encounter ticks. Edge of your yard, forested areas. If you're a hiker, certainly. You're going on trails, well, there's plenty of wildlife. Now, I always get the question, well, I'm told to stay in, on, in the middle of the trail. You can still encounter ticks in the middle of the trail. Less likely to encounter them there than if you're walking in the middle of the forest where the branches are, but it's not a zero. So when we think about risks of encounter for ticks, I want you to not think about, yes, I'll encounter ticks or no, I won't encounter ticks. I want you to think about, is my encounter likelihood low or high or somewhere in between? And that's all about the environment you're in. So if you think about going to a park and going hiking, high risk, but the middle of the trail is lower risk on that continuum than in the middle of the forest um, where all the animals are traveling. 